So what is the remedy if you suffer a check bounce case as a joint account holder though you did not issue the check. Now to understand uh, this question to, to understand this remedy you must understand what a joint account is what are the types of joint accounts that are available in the banks. Generally there are two broad categories of joint accounts that are available in the banks. The joint account which has an end function, A and D end function, and the joint account which has an OR function, OR, OR function. Now the joint account with end function means both the account holders or more than both the account holders can operate the joint account, must operate the joint account. And OR, OR kind of joint account can be operated by either one of the account holders. It is of four types, former or survivor, later or survivor, anyone or survivor, either or survivor. Now, if a check is brought or is, if a check is even given, when it is a joint account with an end function, A and end function, undoubtedly while receiving the check, the complainant or the pay will insist for the signatures of both the account holders because it is an end function and both the names invariably is printed on the check. Now if it is an OR function, only the first person's name shall be printed on the check. But when the complainant comes to know that there is another person also, generally if it is a wife for the check that is issued by the husband or partner of a business, an official partner of a business, Then the complainant generally <clears throat> plans for an arm twisting tactic to make the spouse of the account holder a party to the check bounce case. Now law says that if it is a partnership firm or if it is a company, <clears throat> not only the drawer of the check, drawer means issuer of the check, even the other partners and even the other directors can be made parties to the check. Now that is a law that is for the companies. Now for joint account holders with an end function or OR function, can this be pressed into service? Can this principle of partnership or company can be pressed into service? Supreme Court said no. Now that is an exception. Now for the companies and partnership firms, even the directors or the other partners can be brought on record for suffering a court case because that is an exception this, to this rule. So whenever a joint account with an end function or OR function and the purpose of this video it is an OR function that is to be taken into consideration. If any one person signs the check, the other person who did not sign the check cannot be made a part to the check bounce case and if at all a party is made to the check bounce case. I'm leaving the Supreme Court uh, decision in the description box kindly take a printout of that and show it to the court. The court <coughs> may drop the case against the person who did not sign the check. Remember this is an exception and if it is a company or if it is a partnership firm that exception doesn't work only for the joint accounts with an OR function. This principle is applied or can be applied and you can come out of the check bonds case. So the fundamental you must remember that if it is a joint account with OR function, only the person who signed the check, only the person who issued the check is liable. Though both the parties may be liable under the civil law, <laughs> that is to say, though both the parties might have jointly taken a loan and in discharge of that loan, if only the one person issues the check and that check gets bounced, only the person who issued the check, only the person who draws the check, only the person who signed the check is liable for the check bounce case and not the other person is what Supreme Court said. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you have any doubts, kindly comment.